Metamorphoses by the Roman poet Ovid, as adapted by Mary Zimmerman, is a collection of uh, myths. It's a dramatized version of a bunch of Ovid poems. Mary Zimmerman took all of these myths and dramatized them into a show. Like everybody thinks Greek mythology, they think, oh, uh, Ares or Aphrodite or Zeus, but here we have different stories like Mira or Pomona and Vertumnus, and it's just different things that you wouldn't get to experience unless you were to sit down and actually do intensive research on it. It's fun to hear the other side of things, where it's not just about the gods. It's told in a more episodic format, so instead of one overarching storyline, it's a collection of vignettes of scenes relatable to each other in a giant overarching theme. And it sort of shifts and changes through all kinds of genres. Sometimes it's very arch and classical, and then other times it's very, like, um, biting and ironic. And it all invites us to explore, I think, the ways in which we grapple with the inevitability of change in our lives. I play a variety of roles, as do all the other performers, because of the number of scenes it requires every actor or actress to play a multitude of parts. As Christian said earlier, we play a variety of characters. Um, in my case, my most exciting one that I'm most excited for is Aphrodite. I'm also uh, charged with the Oread and the Laundress as the speaking roles, and we also all have a part in playing narrators as well. Metamorphoses is famous for its primary scenic element, which is a 4,000 gallon pool in which all of the action happens on stage and it also allows you to tell um, theatrical stories in a way that you usually can't on stage. It provides opportunities for doubling and reflection and immersion and things to disappear and reappear in front of you. As far as stage managing goes, it's not my first time around but it's definitely the first time I'm doing something of this scale with this many moving parts. We're going to have bodies you know, coming, coming off the stage at one place and having to appear someplace else on stage. All of the bodies are wet, which means drying stations at each entrance and exit. You know, there's so many dynamic elements that go into having the pool with having a typically cold theater, having to have a climate controlled pool and having these actors, as soon as they come off that stage, they're immediately going in and putting on robes and they're going in and being whisked backstage through a very choreographed process to make sure that they get where they need to be going next, dry, looking like someone else. Everybody who's involved in the production is all hands on deck all the time. So whether you're out front performing or you're backstage helping props to travel, helping robes to travel, helping towels to travel, and flip-flops to travel from place to place so a person who enters in one place needs all their gear at the other place. Worrying about whether or not someone is going to be trapped underwater or if they don't come out, what do we do? You know. All of those moving parts, constantly having that to worry about and having to plan for all of that stuff, it's definitely going to be the most foresight that I've had to put into a production that I've ever worked on. It has something for everyone. Um, it's got some scenes that are very comedic and are very lighthearted. It's got some scenes that are very dramatic and very classical. And we're going to have live music throughout the show that caters to the scenes. We're going to have scenes where actors become dancers. We're going to have actual dancers working with us in certain scenes. It's nice to be able to incorporate all kinds of different media into one show. You're going to have the music, you're going to have these gorgeous lights that we're going to have set up, the pool, the it's just going to be really exciting to see. We're thrilled for our students to have this opportunity. This is an incredibly ambitious project, and it's asking of them things that are way outside their comfort zone. The hope is really to give them the opportunity to get their hands as dirty as they possibly can, but also to really challenge them and to give them the chance to rise to the occasion and boy, are they. Just being able to be in this family with all these people, this ensemble that we're building together through this show, to make this happen is just my favorite thing about it, and I'm so excited to put it on for everyone. I'm really excited for Lafayette to see the show.